The Horn of Africa is home to over 57 million agropastoralists and pastoralists, more than a quarter of the region's total population. Governed by harsh environmental conditions with low agriculture and irrigation potential, pressure on land and pastures frequently ends in conflict in the competition for scarce resources. Traditional pastoral systems are changing. Livestock, its products, land and water are being monetized, while market access remains limited. Under these pressures, food security, sustainable development of natural resources and environmental protection represent the region's biggest challenges. Despite these challenges, the dry lands of the Horn of Africa offer enormous potential. Live animals and their products are generated in such numbers to satisfy subsistence needs with a surplus for export. Even though political diversity, civil unrest and climatic uncertainty are the norm in the region, Pastoralism remains the most viable and resilient means of land use and food production in the dry lands. To maximize on export and gain access to lucrative markets, the livestock industry needs to comply with the international sanitary standards, avoiding the imposition of bans on the importation of animals and their products. In the search for pasture and water, pastoralists and their animals roam freely, increasing the risk of animal disease transfer. With the disruption of veterinary training in Somalia, coupled with the neglect by national and international research institutions, the knowledge and management of pastoral livestock systems is limited. Why we don't make a permanent school? We train uh, 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 new cadre with a critical thinking, with an approach towards the, uh, uh, the Somali livestock problem sector to aim the, towards the solution. Training a new generation of cadres for the pastoral zones in the Horn of Africa is a regional priority. A residential training system can help overcome political divisions and provide solutions at regional level while ensuring that graduates remain to support their own communities. The training setup needs to have state-of-the-art services, including quality laboratories and personal up-to-date information systems and an innovative training methodology. So you are a first-year student? Yes, I am a first-year student. Okay. Why did you decide to join the Sheikh Veterinary School? Because I like to treat animals more than the human. Mm -hmm. It's very important for us, since the livestock is our backbone, our economic backbone. Is there a question here? Uh, and after an anti-mortem and post-mortem examination, uh -huh. uh, what, what finding is, what result did you reach? Diagnosis we have suspected on the camel was chronic pneumonia. Called Somali Dugeto, which is familiar or always is specific to the camel of Somali ecosystem. To address the peculiarities of the Horn of Africa, a curriculum was developed that immerses young men and women in real life livestock issues. Situated in the typical dry land environment, the institution emphasizes interactive hands on training. 
From day one, students start with practical sessions, being exposed to research tasks and gaining experience in working with communities. They learn to provide services such as disease investigation and control, vaccination and treatment, laboratory and clinics. Current affairs, such as the gender gap, HIV, AIDS and climatic concerns are addressed along with the provision of skills to communicate with communities. Women, they always are busy in their house, housework. Okay. They don't attend, many of them, they don't attend schools. In fact, the idea behind the establishment of STVS is to solve the Somali livestock sector problem. And what is the Somali livestock sector problem? The ban. Why animals, our animals are in a ban? To tackle these diseases that really cause to, to be banned Somali animals. And in order to be able this, students from the beginning should be trained with the orientation of solving a problem, to be critical on the subject. That is uh, uh, the idea behind. And we are going towards that process, call it problem-based learning. Clinical examination, what we are systematically always. So we start with the analysis of the case history. So we are doing the examination of the mucos, <coughs> mucos membrane. We are doing this one, just simply. We press and compress that one in order the to see. The difference that you can find with the other institutions is that the traditional uh, academic uh, teaching is mainly uh, based on theory. This school is meant to address specific problems that are found in the Somali ecosystem. A reference center equipped with a well-resourced library carries out research on pastoral livestock systems and offers expertise to decision makers. It provides ad hoc short training sessions as continuous professional development as well as distance learning modules. The livestock, as you know, is uh, the major uh, source of livelihood for the zone of Africa. Trade-oriented as opposed to other parts of Africa where uh, export of animals is a rare business. To date, STVS emphasis has been on disease and trade. It has focused on high productive potential and high market access, maximizing export and local trade. With seven intakes into the school, and increasing numbers of female participation, the school now offers Makarere University accredited diploma courses. The reference center has organized international conferences and numerous workshops, giving life and a voice to many of the issues affecting the area. In fact, one of our motto is learning by doing. But the problem is multifaceted and there is much more to be done.